for another episode of It's All Been Trekked Before. The Survivor. Yeah, The Survivor. I bet you feel like a survivor. No, this is actually a good episode, but you've been with us all along. You're a survivor. Like that uh, Destiny's Child song. Speaking of things like that Destiny's Child song, no, it actually has nothing to do. Actually, maybe it does. It's the Squash Smashers. They're survivors. Some say it's a scripted rednecky hello from the Magic Tavern. Others say other things, but don't listen to them. If you like your hijinks wacky and your sass extra, extra sassy, like Ahura, then listen in as a simple podcast within a podcast about a paranormal investigator working out of a t-shirt kiosk in a rundown mall evolves into the tale of a Bigfoot hunter, a vampire, a killbot, and Elvis the necromancer on the run from nefarious government forces and random cryptids in an enormous underground series of catacombs. Uh, check out the Squash Smashers here on the IABD network. And while you're doing that, while you're supporting it, you kick in a couple of bucks. Go to patreon.com slash IABD. Help us out. Help us keep adding all these great programs. Uh, we've added on the Nightmares. We've added on the, the Evan and Saker, the Bare Naked Ladies podcast. we got more writing contests. we got more Stark Story snacks. You know what else we also have? Marianne's Macabre Review. It's time to ring those spooky. Join Marianne and friends in Marianne's Macabre Review, a podcast release every other Tuesday talking all things horror. They cover film, television, books, web series, and even board games. If it's horror related, Marianne is on it. God, I can't. Why am I saying Marianne? Marianne. You know what? Your Marianne ha, 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 is on it. A new topic every episode. I've offended all of our French listeners. But fortunately, we'll bring them back with this episode. Ah, the survivor on It's All Been Checked Before. <laughs> Welcome out to another episode of It's All Been Checked Before. We've got your regular crew here. This is Steven. And Keith. Jimmy Jerome. And we are joined by guests. Marianne. Hello, folks. Hello. Who did a number of the original series episodes with us, uh, and happened to be here today as we recorded our special Freaky Friday episode that you guys heard like months ago. <laughs> so well, she stuck around to watch some animated with us. Let's give Marianne a minute or two to just talk about the animated series in general, like the look, the feel, the just, voice yeah, of it all. First time. First timer. What are your wow. impressions? First time, long time. As a, the style. Someone really liked drawing ships. <laughs> so they did a really good job at drawing ships. And then when it got to drawing people, they were like, "Oh, I'm really good at drawing ships." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have to draw people. Mm. And so they got the gist of what everybody looked like. Uh, and I, I, in, I actually really enjoyed this episode. I. Uh, it's n- brand new for me. I have not seen any of them before, and I liked it. I thought this was a good episode. Uh, the there were a few times they did really weird. The entire screen is just Kirk's face. <laughs> I mean, and every time it cut back, it's like the the weeping angels from Doctor Who, where they're just a little <laughs> bit closer. <laughs> every time you cut away, Kirk's there, and he's just an inch closer. So. It was good. They, they. I noticed at one point in time when the ship was, when they did an outside shot of the ship that you could, you could see the cell of the mm-hmm. ship, and you could see the stars moving that were on yeah. the the one cell, and then you could mm. see the other stars moving. I was yeah. like, that's oh, one of the that's... basic shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you I seem like to one. really like all the extreme close-ups too. <laughs> yeah, that was. There were a lot of those. Yeah. Were, and, uh, what you'll yeah. notice if you watch a few more of these is they reuse shots a bunch. Yeah. Oh, boy. To save on the animation. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of overhead bridge shots um, with your hair splayed. Oh, we got it near oh, yeah. the end of the episode. <laughs> the legs, yeah. We got it near really. the end of the episode. Early in the episode, I know I noticed, and I know Stephen noticed, that, that we got a different overhead shot yeah. where she was sitting normally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but both overhead shots had you her in her chair, even though this She's episode, Moress was in her chair. Uh, um, the first scene, <laughs> we didn't see Moress, but they, Kirk said something to Moress as he left the bridge. And the second scene, we actually saw her and heard her. So Uhura was an interstation, even though Nichelle Nichols was credited with playing Uhura in this yeah. episode. So mm. now I take, I take that back. I must have seen some of the episodes because I knew about Moress. Okay. I knew about okay. the goat person. And I've known... Uh, Eric's. Eric's, yeah. Eric's yes. yeah, those are the two new characters yeah. they added for the and episodes. I've, I've randomly seen like little bits of them from other places I can't place but uh. Uh, yeah I, this was a good episode um, I'm looking at the IMDB rankings for mm-hmm. episodes and this said uh, yesteryear of course was better than this because mm-hmm. it's our favorite so far um, and Tribbles was rated better than this the more Tribbles more mm-hmm. Tribbles but there's only a couple more episodes rated higher than this like yeah. this was rated relatively yeah. high yeah. Yeah. and I'd say that's fair yeah it's the it's another 
alien that can change its shape or whatever. But yeah, I thought, cool looking alien, but I thought it was so better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The we did. I, I noticed something similar. It's a lot easier. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Vendorians, I believe they're yeah. called. Yes, yeah. cool name. And cool creatures. Very few guest stars in the original series. Uh, most of the time, Jimmy Doohan and Majel Barrett just play all mm-hmm. the, all the extra voices. Mm-hmm. Scotty and Trapple. Um, but we had Ted Knight play the Avendorian and Carter huh. Winston. Yeah, I liked his voice. Ted Knight of yeah. Mary Tyler Moore fame, mm-hmm. Ted Baxter. Uh, he was in Mary Tyler Moore as this episode aired. This was during the oh, Mary okay. Tyler Moore run. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. If we want to bring in our Batman references again, I noticed in the late 60s, he did voices for the Batman Superman Hour in yeah. the series. Yeah. He played Commissioner Gordon, the uh-huh. Penguin, Mr. Freeze, the Scarecrow, nice. Matt Hatter, Tweedledum, Tweedledee, Mock Turtle, and a whole bunch of other characters. Mm. But yeah, Ted Knight. Uh, I thought he was it was nice to have because normally the only other guest stars we've seen are like Mark Leonard returns his right. role as Sarek yeah. Mm-hmm. but yeah generally there aren't really guest stars yeah. so there wasn't um, Uhura wasn't in it I she's mean, credited she's, as being in it yeah. uh, interestingly they let Michelle voice Ann Lauren because yeah. like I said most of the time Majel Barrett does all the female voices mm-hmm. so I liked so that Michelle got to play to the security the... officer okay yeah. that's what I was thinking I was like that sounds like her it but then I was like but it was good. It, it didn't was, sound like you heard it. Yeah, it was. I was and I put a comment here acting versus voice acting. Yeah. I love Michelle Barrett. But I don't think she's a very good. It we, did, it, we've we talked about, about that too. It doesn't transfer well from her acting as Nurse Chapel and all mm. these other people I mean, to she voice does, acting. She does good as the ship's computer. I always enjoyed her as the ship's computer. She, um, and I like her as Maress in this little bit we saw, just some of the other characters. She, she actually did a pretty good Amanda, Spock's mother, too, because Jane mm. Ryan was available. Mm. But most of her voices are not great. And Jimmy Doohan isn't great either. I mean, his Eric's is really bad, which may be why we've done like three or four episodes in a row where we've just seen Eric's and not heard him. But Jimmy Doohan did voice the Romulan commander in this episode. I don't know, that was one of his better, pretty, more d- different voices. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although the Romulan commander had brown hair. Have we ever seen another brunette Romulan anywhere? Mm-hmm. They always have black hair. They always yeah. have jet black yeah. hair. Yeah. yeah. And also, while we're here, I don't like the Romulans having Klingon chips. I know that's yes. happened before. Well, that's canon. Yeah. I know. I like the bird of prey. I do too. Yeah. So the Romulan bird of prey. Yeah. yeah. So well, it actually, it's the bird drawn on it. Yeah. Is there a Klingon bird of prey too? Yeah, that's what they were. That's what okay. they were. They were showing the in right. this one. Okay. Yeah. I, I do feel like I've heard both mm-hmm. terms. I yeah. just now realized to wonder why that. Yeah. So like you're the, saying that they, that I they, like the balance of terror Romulan ships opposed to the later ones. He likes this one. Huh. All right. Yeah. So oh, okay. And instead, we saw the Klingon ones, which. We've seen Romulans drive the Klingons right. before. This is right. canon that they in so, the original series. It's, right. it's really weird that they both Tony have Stark sells two different ships with, right. Right. with the same name. Everybody. Right. He's not picky. Uh, <laughs> both villains. Yeah. So, all right. So you're saying that at some point somebody stole the design or something like that? Or they stole I believe ships? it was a military or, or technology sharing yeah, alliance. Yeah. Yeah. The real reason was that they were too cheap to... <laughs> <laughs> They had a bunch of more Klingon birds of prey yeah. built, yeah. and they only had one Romulan bird of prey. So if we have more than one Romulan ship, let's just use Klingon ships. I'm trying to remember if that was the one where the guy smashed it to pieces because mm. they didn't pay him. Oh, the model. I think, okay. I think actual, that might have been that one. physical model. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very yeah. He still had it, and they didn't pay him. He's like, all right, now this is happening. I think oh I remember like, oh, I guess we'll just use these Klingon ones <laughs> and make up some excuse. Did anybody else wish that... The the Dora character, the uh, the fact that um, Carter, uh, Winston. Carter Winston's ex was just Uhura instead of Anne Lauren. Mm. Okay. Well. Uh, or was that too on the nose because we've already done it with McCoy? Well, they did a they did you know in the original series it was five years late you know five this years. This is the second late. five years. Yeah. So yeah. this it's a five year mission. So it's very possible she she could have he could have been gone for those five years. Of course, she also had. Flings with people and was deeply in love with Kirk for a few times. Uh-huh. Only when she was mind controlled. I guess, uh-huh. yeah. I, if it had been to her, I, I would have. I'd almost refer it was one of those like where Kirk knows somebody in every port things rather yeah. than yeah. we were engaged. I, I, I guess the being engaged added some uh, depth to it. Sad, whatever. So yeah. my question to... is, what did the creature do? Why is he being detained? What happened? He didn't kill anybody. Wasn't it like imitating uh, people? Yeah. Drove them into the drove the drove the not and yeah. the crew. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But no one was... But then he saved the crew, so... So, he can transform not into into stuff. He can yes. form into a thing of energy that can take a photon blast. Apparently. Yeah. From... Apparently. I kind of like oh. that, that he couldn't just... 
again, we're using the binary gender because that's mm -hmm. universal, he, she. Sure. Uh, <laughs> As we learned in another episode. Yes. Uh, I love that he, when he turned in the medical pen. So, but I would rather, weird I, because... I, I wish he'd just been an end table. Well, because <laughs> Kirk swelled a question you know, that's like by the Kirk. He should. So it should have been, I feel like this was another Shatner going, Kirk needs these lines. Yeah. Um, hmm. Although he could have done with the animated, but yeah. whatever. And then also, we've seen three beds in the sick bay before. Yeah. So the fact that they're saying, oh, there's yeah. only two. No, there's not. I mean, even in the original series, they had three. Yeah. So it's like... Well, I guess in the second year five-year mission, they got rid of one. They decided three's too many. <laughs> they're like, let's shorten let's just... this room. Well, yeah. I want a bath here yeah. and half bath. Now this makes me think that... So when he was the, 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 the medical bed, Kirk was going to throw an ass on him. He's like, I don't want that to happen. But he could turn it into a shield and absorb a giant, no. a giant phaser blast. But, like, I'm good. But he'd have to shift to like make something that was anti-acid, whereas that medical bed was vulnerable to acid. But, uh, the, thing important, the important thing to note is oh, that... Oh, I see what you're but saying. But clearly the vial that the acid was in was resistant to the acid. So he didn't switch... To get away, he switched because if he was the medical bed, the medical bed would have burned. burned. He should have just transformed into something else. But I see what you're saying. Okay, that makes sense then. All right, I'll buy that. I was going to say, that, well, the reason why the, 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 to even to have that in there is for the for the logical transition. If you can turn into furniture, obviously you can turn into energy as well. <laughs> yeah. that, that is the logical that, thing right. that it follows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> I wanted him to turn into all kinds of things. So <laughs> I'm a little confused. Still, like he drove into the into the Ramion thing. Uh, yeah, neutral. Neutral zone. Yes. It was it really that bad that he needs to be detained and go to court. Well, and, was, I think it's supposed to be pretty yeah. serious well, if you if you're into that place. Yeah, person with a captain and stuff. And a doctor. That too. And, and a bed. <laughs> and a rich guy. <laughs> <laughs> and a Bill Gates. A rich guy that's using his money for philanthropic purposes. Uh, <laughs> but Kirk was going to try and get leniency for him. But the, the Vendorian. The Vendorian. That's going to be a he or she because gender's binary in space. Yeah, of course. It's universal. <laughs> right. They didn't give him a name, though, right? Other than... Vendorian. Yeah, the Vandorian. Without That was his that was species, the race. though, right? Although, at one point, they said the alien Vendorian. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's a planet of... You uh, wouldn't say the alien Vulcan. It's literally, alien Klingon. it's literally a planet of vendors. It's a planet of salesmen. <laughs> I think it was because they had just come back from the commercial break, though, and they were trying to remind us there was an alien and what its yeah. name was. And they were afraid if they just said Vendorians, yeah. people would be like, I don't oh, know Oh, that guy is. named Vendorian. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little known fact, the original title of Arthur Miller's play was Death of a Vendorian. Liar. <laughs> 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 It was definitely. But I like it. It didn't test well. <laughs> like, what the well, hell is a Vendorian? The tentacle, the tentacle sex scene didn't play. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Mary. I'm talking about All right, it. So Take it away. I have at least two to three bullet points that... The first one is, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. And Even though it didn't go there because it was a Saturday morning cartoon yeah. for kids. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean... But I'm sure there's a version of it somewhere on the internet. Yes. Have, have we described what the, what the Vendorian actually looks like in his natural form? He's an octopus. He's a tentacle monster. Uh, squid, yeah, something like, like that. Like uh, floating yeah. out of the water, tentacle monster. Kind of look like, so I'm going to make a Star Wars reference, FX-8, oh. the medical droid, except oh, okay. medical, oh, yeah, with, yeah. with yeah. tentacles. With tentacles. Yeah. They ripped off this episode of Star Trek. They did, clearly. Yeah. Um, and then later on when he goes after Bones, uh, tentacles, yeah. <laughs> so, well, because uh, Fox said you need your ID card. Yes. <laughs> He's heartless. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, speaking of it, when they see the Vendorian or whatever, when he changes from the medical bed to a Vendorian, McCoy says once again, I saw it, but I don't believe it. You guys see strange stuff every week. <laughs> <laughs> believe it. For goodness sake. There is nothing, Mr. you will never see anything unbelievable ever again. <laughs> Everything is believable. Well, for all we know, it's, it's been months between each mission and he just forgets. You know, it's like, oh, that was, yeah. He's like, well, it's a boring <laughs> week. I like that they realized that McCoy was taken over by the fact that he was like, I could be wrong. <laughs> I thought that was actually really funny. That was really good. I, I, thought, I yeah. still liked it. Yeah, I thought that was really good. I thought, I, I was hoping Spock would think there was an ambient, ambient issue on the Enterprise because Kirk's like, I just took a nap and I forgot everything. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? I heard us in the neutral zone. You know what? It's this medicine I'm on. I just needed to sleep. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm ordering us into the neutral zone. And they got an Amazon delivery too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. When did I order that? <laughs> uh, so she could have stunned him. 
Yeah. You she, know, she could have definitely. Another bad she's, security guard. Yeah, very bad. I can I understand her being conflicted, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, if she was like science officer or something, it would have yeah. been more understandable. But. Yeah. So she, she was security. I, I didn't catch that. Yeah. yeah. She was yeah. Security. I cheated and looked up. That's why she wanted to be the security officer that guarded him, which yeah. was a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. It's like caught in. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a great idea, but just to be safe, we'll we're going to send a couple guys person. with you. Yeah. 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 I mean, well, they record everything. They'll be fine. That was another thing in this episode. They had all that stuff recorded. <laughs> Nobody recorded when he be shaking over other people's body or whatever. Yeah. Shifting into meeting exactly. other people. Like There's no camera getting that. We, we've recorded everything else. <laughs> Even like the armchair camera uh-huh. that like looks up at the face this close. Even the don't shoot a guy into outer space uh, <laughs> console camera. Yeah. Well, 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 when he knew her fiance or husband or whatever. he Carter Winston. They, they had such deep conversations that he, he knew where all the cameras were going to be. So Maybe he, that would be that. He learned it from him. He talked about it often, very yeah. fondly. Mm-hmm. I also put, in the future, <laughs> uh, playback screens will be an efficient crop square shape. Oh, yeah. For the, <laughs> very small. Yeah. Just like this Well, big. there's somebody on the Enterprise who puts together those packages. It's like, no, this is the sports section of the podcast. <laughs> uh, so at halftime of any sporting, really within minutes... They can put together a montage of like the first yeah. 20 minutes of the game <laughs> yep. set to music perfectly. Mm-hmm. So there's somebody on the Enterprise that does that. When she's talking to her alien fiance, pretend fiance yeah. at the end, mm-hmm. just the, he's trying to escape or we think where he's mm-hmm. trying to escape. And she is like, oh, really? <laughs> Tell me. And I'm just like, <sighs> I roll angry, mm-hmm. just gesturing wildly keith is like write it down <laughs> well that's that's not what i was it was a, it was a different uh, joke there i was going with she was saying i, I tell I, me about it no i i miss his eyes i miss his hair i miss his yeah <laughs> 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 yeah the first time he did it to her i was like oh and then i thought he was gonna do it a second time and i'm like oh he's actually being sincere this time which yeah. kind of thought it was interesting the idea that the more he's if the more he was Carter Winston, the more thoughts and he yeah. became Carter Winston. I guess the same would apply if he had stayed as a hospital bed or a deflector shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would have grown to think like a medical bed yeah. or a deflector shield. Well, he didn't have a friendship with those things. He was yeah. just... <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've left you for a deflector shield. <laughs> he, he, the creature was a nice creature. And mm. so I... Eventually. eventually uh, he was a terrible was... breaker-upper, but he explained why he was a terrible yeah. breaker. He's like, uh, uh, we I... should not be together for reasons I can't explain. So was it the first, uh, I think it was the first appearance of the, the like, the cat-looking woman? Mares, uh, yeah. Mares, yes. So this was her first appearance. We're in episode six, so she wasn't the first, like, quarter of the animated series. What, what was her official position? I mean, communications officer. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you heard as a communications chief, but she's uh, a communications so officer. So, Jimmy Drummond, is she your second favorite communications officer? Since we know I mean, how much she's you, much better than White Uhura. We know how much you hate Palmer. <laughs> uh, so, White Uhura, she's not to be confused with White Uhura this episode... It wasn't really White Uhura, just White Woman voiced by Nichelle Nichols, who I liked. But yeah, White yeah. Uhura was. Was awful. there the one episode where Yeoman and Mears was doing communication, so? I'm trying it to. It might remember. have been. Or no, it was Angela, I'm sorry. Not Angela Mears, was, it was Angela. Yeah, yeah. you're right. So, I like Mares. Yeah. I like the cat lady. Yeah, I, I really like the voice for that. That, that, <laughs> yeah. was, that was Michelle? That's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yes. Was yeah. So, uh, so Nichelle Nichols voiced the, the security officer. Nor it. And, and uh, I, I liked what she did for the most part, but. Uh, the only complaint that I would have or, or criticism was that she, the voice was inconsistent. So like every scene was a different voice for the that. character, which was. I mean, Sometimes they, they, it was a little too childlike. I yeah. think they were, good, I, they were okay, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, the I think you guys time. are right, but in my mind, she was just cooing at me the whole time. Yeah, so yeah I was okay. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that first <laughs> one, like man, that. it was. It yeah. sounded a lot like a yeah. girl, and I was like, "That's yeah. why I was like, that's in show." And yeah, that was nice. Um. So once again, we have. Um, a Broadway musical will be uh, taking something from Star Trek once again. Yeah. What's uh, it? I am out, gunned out, man. Lin Manuel Miranda I know. took that <laughs> from Star Trek, huh. The Survivor. Must be. That, yep. That's the I only explanation. Most out of his lyrics were stolen from The West Wing, but this particular <laughs> one was Star Trek. Yeah, I mean, Star Trek. Right there. Obviously. <laughs> I want to hear it at The West Wing I, at some point. Well, I think we need a, a parody. I am Captain James E. Kirk. Yeah, <laughs> we can figure Captain. that. We'll figure Captain this out. James oh, Kirk. Co- Colleen can do it. We'll get Colleen on there. I think she would kill us if we signed her uh, for that. Well, <laughs> I love writing parody music. She, she is too. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. We haven't done one in quite a while. That would uh, be fun. I did like that the the Vendorian put Kirk down nicely on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so cute. <laughs> like, 
I'm taking I'm taking your place yeah. on red Well, that's why I was like, let me put you down gently. Tentacles, yeah, I know where this is going. So the, the fun thing about that is just the those shots where uh, the Vendorian would take somebody over. He would like sort of cradle them around the neck yeah. uh, yeah, from behind. Choke him. Yeah. So like, yeah. It looks like they're going to choke him for a little bit, and then all of a sudden they just kind of like they they faint softly, and he just cradles <laughs> them off. Yeah. So and, uh, here's the thing. Do his hands, when he's in a human form, does mm-hmm. he still have the power? Because he did, he went. Like, he did it to the yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 That's yeah. not, no, no, no. I no, think he was using there. his tentacle powers. But I, yeah. I would think that you have to. Why That's, would you not just transform? Right. It, why why, why would not you just, just stay touch in that form? Kirk? Yeah. yeah, and make yeah. make him pass out, yeah. turn into Kirk. Yeah. Why would you ever flop back and forth if you can just switch yeah. it? And he always assumed that either I'm dead position or the I'm going down a water slide position <laughs> before he transformed back into being a Vendorian. Yeah. We were talking about before we started recording uh, the idea of, well, from Marianne's opinion, would you accept this creature who looked like me, I guess, uh, who could imitate my form and then also use tentacles, I guess. That <laughs> seems like a no-brainer. Then. Sign me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It depends on what personalities it has of you. Mm. It, what did it learn from its time with, hmm. for, for its one year with you? Well, I mean, in this case, uh, what's her name? The security, what's her? Uh, Norid. 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 Or she, she seemed pretty yeah. convinced. Norid. Or impressed with his ability to... She and even talk with him for like five minutes, twice, <laughs> maybe twice. To be fair, Fine. Keith doesn't even have to be dead for you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you, just have, you just have to make him be friends with a Vendorian for a while, <laughs> and then you're set. <laughs> like a minute. Vendorian, <laughs> <just all laughs> well, he made it sound like they had some pretty good conversations. Though. Yeah. So it's like, oh, we talked of <laughs> the times of yore. <laughs> Me and Carter Winston. <laughs> I told him just what you like. <laughs> Tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is that Vendorian was talking to another Vendorian who had already assumed the former Carter Winston, so he never actually even knew Carter Winston. <laughs> he knew another Vendorian that had assumed his form. It sounds like that's all, is that's all they do with <laughs> Vendorians. So, assume other people's they forms. they were tricksy. They did say, yeah. uh, you know, that's why they they're... Were false. Yes. Yeah, everybody on Vandoria is a, is a is a practical joker. Yeah. yeah. That's April Fool's Day is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> See, on that planet. One tentacle like monster it. transfers to another tentacle yeah, monster. Right. That'd be great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, we were intolerant. See, we don't know the Why difference. one tentacle arm is shorter right. than the other. Yeah. That's how I know. To us, they all look the same. Yeah. But to them, they're... This yeah. arm only has 37 yeah. sides. They're like, yeah. it should have 36. <laughs> That's how I knew that was Steven and, yeah, not, exactly. and not Jimmy. Because exactly. he had so less suckers on the one tentacle <laughs> arm. Steven does have less suckers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that I used it's, to. It's a, sign, it's a sign of virility right there. Yeah, right? Yeah. The, the number of suckers. And... <coughs> I've seen a doctor about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Mm-hmm. No other notes? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alternate episode? It's my Vendorian. It's the life I'm Vendor, Ven, Vendoria or whatever. Yeah. The people always just being other different people. So nobody <laughs> really knows anybody. Mouser episode is Mares, or Eric's, one of the two uh-huh. newbies, reveals they've been a Vendorian this the whole time. time. <laughs> <laughs> or even better, Sulu's been a Vendorian like this whole time. Mine is the... Um, or since season two or something. We, we do go into the hentai portion of the, the yeah. thing. Because, yeah. you know, Kirk's game. Oh, yeah. yeah. There down. might be some. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I bet it's to, out there. I'm going to Google it. I... My other Jeez, idea is, what's your alternate oh, idea? my other alternate episode would be the Romulan ships are also Vendorian, so they're, <laughs> they're pretending to be Klingons, but they're really Romulan bird of prey. I'm not finding anything, Marianne, I'm sorry. Yeah, mm. Just don't <laughs> wear the look. We'll find it. I'll find it. <laughs> okay. It's probably on the dark Let line. me know if you find it. I will. Google it. Google image search for Vendorian porn does not have any results that are actually... It's disappointing. Just Kirk, James D. Kirk, tentacles. <laughs> Oh. Done. <laughs> Slash tentacles. Yeah, you're you're getting way too specific. Oh, okay. I want Vandorian porn. I don't want just like your regular tentacle porn. No, it's I want the people who are serious Vandorian. and know what they're talking about. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just not indexed yet. We didn't have any fashion for this episode. I guess we could do fashion. What do you think, Carter Winston? Yeah, it was utilitarian. It was like Dapper. Yeah. Mud light, not mud. Uh, like. Cyrano Jones light. Yeah, so like, was he flying in a spaceship and he landed, crash landed, yes. and that's what he was wearing? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, men, women of Star Trek, Steven, you're still on Thela from the Lorelei signal. 
As am I, or as I was going to go with Nora Red. I'm going to take Because she was cooing at me the whole time. Man. Yeah, she's her voice. And she was really well drawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was. You want Nora Red? And Marianne's going to go with yeah. Nora Red. I really like Thela, though. i got to tell you. But I'll go with Nora Red. Keith? I, I'm disappointed that I can't, like, <laughs> deviate from the group, but I'm going to have to go with the same. Nora Red? Yeah. Well, I'm going with the Vendorian. There you go. I should go with Vendorian. Yeah. yeah. That's that's make sense. Sense. We'll be back. Yeah. Put me to that one. That was going to say weird. They could be anything. Even then. split. Yeah, that does seem kind of weird, doesn't it? Uh, and we're going to rank this episode. Um, below yesteryear, certainly. Yeah. Uh, above or below more triples, more troubles. So yesteryear was the Spock going yeah. back. Yeah. Flashback. Triple. Hmm. More the one below that's triples. one of our plans that is missing. Which we liked, but yeah. I think this is better. Than I think so, too. So I think we're Maybe. debating around triples. Yeah. This is the second or third of the season so far. On six. I, I think I like triples more than you guys, if I recall right. But I, feel, I, I felt know. distracted both. Th- well, th- I had a reason to feel distracted this time. But the, the triples, I don't know. It just felt like um, the watered-down sequel of trying to hit the, the yeah. points from the yeah. first yep. one. And yeah. uh, this seemed like it was at least they were trying to something different. So yeah. I'll, I'll go. With, yeah. We'll Above? Go. Yeah. I agree with I'm you. okay with that. Yeah, yeah I, I I did not like the triples episode. I don't even remember how I got talked into letting it be on second. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, mainly because, like you said, it's water. If I hadn't seen the original triples yeah. episode, I think I would have liked it a lot better. But That's, I was trying yeah. too hard to be yeah. trouble triples. It was too repetitive yeah. of that. It's just like in the title. They, they even did. They even did Mo like the, triples, Mo troubles. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was just like another Fast and Furious, right there. It was like the. <laughs> Too fast, too furious. Two tribbles. Two, two tribbles, two tribbles. <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't talk about this was stricken to House Other than they all are. It was written by James Schmerer. Disqualified already. What, what, what is that? James Schmerer? <laughs> yeah. He's the writer of it this It sounds episode. like a pseudonym. It sounds like a fake name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, can we get your name? Uh, yeah, I'm James Schmerer. <laughs> Wait, what was that? James Schmerer? Wait, I'm sorry, I'm missing that. Uh, did you say Schmerer? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and he, was a, he was a writer for the original MacGyver series and Chips. Oh, wow. Yeah. I get the Chips thing. Yeah. This, uh, is this was his only episode chips. of Star Trek. Uh, huh. Well, that's, I mean, it was a good episode. Yeah, so. it wasn't bad. Yeah. I like Chips. I watched all the Chips. I watched I all the Star Chips. I, don't, I, I, watched I chips used to, too. but I don't yeah. really remember anything. The only thing I remember is like the... Like the, their uh, captain or whoever being on the game show and you couldn't get the Miranda rights uh, correct. To, to yep. go back to our Freaky Friday episode, I think the stunts and chips were very much like Freaky Friday. Yes, <laughs> yes. Every week there was a huge crash. And any, any, any motorcycle splitting in half? <laughs> uh, they exhausted every possibility of what to do with cars. Next week, we're, uh, we're talking the Infinite Vulcan, which is the episode written by Walter Koenig. They uh, did not write yeah. Chekhov along that's right. as a character, but right. he still contributed right. to the script. That's yeah. really nice of him. Yeah. yeah, nice gesture. Yeah, it was. So in this episode, for now, on a planet of intelligent plant-like creatures, the clone of a human scientist clones Mr. Spock. For use of the Galactic Peace Mission. Use. And Leonard Nimoy is credited as voicing Mr. Spock and Spock 2. Huh. Hmm. No relation to Audrey 2. Oh, no generous of <laughs> <laughs> Although it is a plant planet, which I, I have to be careful when I pronounce it. Yeah, Audrey 2 is not listed for I just me. want to say, just clarify, you said Spock 2? Spock 2. Hmm. Electric <laughs> oh, God. I, I couldn't I believe you missed that. that. I couldn't I believe you missed that. I wasn't thinking it. <laughs> what? Live long. <laughs> and prosper. I, I, I served that up to him. He went right by. I, I, Spock I, I, 2, I was, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> it's All Been Done presents. Who's got the time?